Good morning, everybody. I literally just woke up, so I am very, very tired. But today is an exciting day, and I thought I would share it with you right away. Today we are going to head into the city. Uh, we could have stayed in the city last night, I guess, but we had to come back here uh, to the farm. We got to head into the city and file the paperwork for temporary residency, which is super, super duper exciting. And um, we look forward to finally getting that. As you know, we have had a long road. If you don't know, I guess, we've been here in, in Russia for about eight months now. And uh, temporary residency was something that was out of our reach right now due to the language requirement. And that has been changed due to our wonderful President Putin who has uh, made that easier and signed a decree that we don't need to do the language test right now. So it's just, it's good. It's a great day. It finally came to that day and uh, we're getting ready to go right now. We're waking up and uh, we've got a bunch of stuff to do this morning before we can head into the city, but we do have to be there and the city's a little bit of a drive away. So that's why we're getting up a little bit earlier. It is stunning this morning again though. The valley is filled with fog. I think it's absolutely wonderful when it does that. Hey, hello, how are you? Pretty girl. And this dog spent three days with us uh, this summer as well, hung out here. And uh, two days ago, the kids went biking and came back with the dog again. So we don't actually know whose dog it is. If it's yours, you have a beautiful dog. And thank you for sharing it with our family. Uh, maybe it belongs to nobody. I haven't got a clue. But now he's hanging out here again. Every morning I wake up and he just sleeps beside the house. And the kids keep thinking we should make him a dog house, but I'm like, well, it's not really ours. How would you feel if somebody else fed our dog and built a new dog house for him? <laughs> He's supposed to go back to his own house. But... Anyway, I gotta get ready to go. stayed in the city but we had some stuff to take care of last night so we had to go back to the farm we are hopefully gonna be on time we're cutting it close <laughs> it depends on traffic this morning but I think we'll be okay and uh, yeah nine o'clock we have to be there so we're very excited I don't know what it all entails I haven't got a clue a lot of paperwork to fill out and I'm just gonna guess we need some photos and all that kind of stuff again but we'll film a little bit as we go and just pretty excited to share this with you guys. Many of you have been praying for this day for us as well, and um, it's finally becoming a reality. So I'm very excited. Is anyone else excited? Are you guys excited? The way they have a clue what's going on? <laughs> Maybe? Hey? Kind of. Kind of. I really mean. Pretty exciting. <laughs>
waiting. Waiting. You tired of waiting? Just started. You're gonna be here a while yet. It's part of the process is waiting. Waiting for what, Mama? Uh, paperwork. Paperwork. <laughs> More paperwork. paperwork. More paperwork. Actually, I was told, this is pretty smart, I was told this by a German feller in Germany, and I think this is the same in Canada, we only have electronic copies now. Mm. And uh, if we ever have like a, a blackout or whatever in the computer world, everybody's documents are gone. In here, they keep a paper trail and electronics. So it's kind of double work, but at least it's double safety. Sure. Old school. If you have a fire, the paper's gone, but you still have the electronics. And if you have a blackout, you have the electronics gone, but you still have paper. Mm -hmm. I guess it's smart. It is smart, yeah. Hey, drop down in the comments if this is hard for you to watch. Because <laughs> you're on your side right now, that way we can both be in. <laughs> is that hard on your eyeballs? I don't think they notice if I straighten it, my wife disappears. Or I disappear. <laughs> so it's the only option we have. Yeah. <laughs> Here, look at the camera. See the camera up there? Finished. Long day. Also, a huge thank you to this immigration office, uh, Dimitri, the uh, director of this office, and the staff in here, security guard. Everybody's just been uh, real great to work with in this office. And, uh, it's a long day, <laughs> long process for everybody. So we're excited to be done. It's officially filed, and uh, now we can go home. Uh, I think it's a three or four month wait or something, isn't it? Four months? Okay, right, well, we'll see. We'll see how fast it gets done. But it is at least filed now, so that is the direction we're headed in. And um, it's pretty exciting. Very exciting. And again, like I said before, this would not have been possible without the presidential decree. So we are wanting to extend a massive thank you to our President Putin for making that a possibility for us and for uh, any of you that have the same desires. Right? Yes. Thank you. written books some have a great look that covers the magazines for kids who are 17 but i don't know what to do staring into the blue sky and just waiting for a sign some they are certain of what awaits them when it all ends but i don't know what will happen to me will i be remembered We are home again. Like I said, it's just been an exhausting day. It's not even that late in the day, but I am so beat. It's just, uh, it's a big day. It's like, it's like when kids go to school and they have to like think really hard and study for the whole day. It's exhausting for them, right? So even though we physically didn't do anything, it's just a, a lot going on. Once again, we are ex still extremely grateful and, um, uh, we're privileged, we really are. We're blessed and privileged to be able to live in this land. And I think that's an important way to think about it because no one owes you anything in this life. And the things that you enjoy really are privileges. Our family, I know for sure, feels very privileged and truly grateful for the opportunity to live here in Russia, to spread our wings, to, uh, to build a farm, to build a future 
for our family, for our children, our grandchildren. Uh, we are extremely grateful. Coming home here now, and the sun's setting. It happens so much earlier this time of year, of course. I mean, right now we're over here, the sun's setting, but in the summertime, the sun sets like way over here, right? It's the joys of the northern hemisphere. Beautiful, close to a beautiful day. Anyway, we thank you guys all for your love and your support of our family, of our channel. And uh, we look forward to carrying on this journey with you, developing all this wonderful land that we have here, uh, continuing to move forward. We're going to wait now for a temporary residency, of course, but move forward to permanent residency. Hopefully next year we'll be able to uh, pass the exams necessary for that. And then on to full, full citizenship. That's what we're aiming for. That's what we're hoping for. Uh, it'll be a long road. Can take... But I think at the fastest, maybe in three years now, um, we get temporary residency, it'll probably take four months to get that, and you have to have it for, I believe, eight months, nine months, something like that, before you can apply for permanent. So it's a year from today, basically, at the earliest we could apply for permanent residency. And then, I'm not 100% sure, actually, but I think it might be a couple of years at the earliest, again, that we can apply for citizenship. But I, I might be wrong on those times. Either way, it's a long road ahead and uh, we are very much looking forward to that day. Then we're, we're finally done, complete. It'll be a very exciting day. Your day, man. Tiring? Yeah. Even though you didn't do any work, it's still tiring, right? Now you need to run around and burn off some steam. Yeah? <laughs> Generator's noisy. Anyway, God bless you guys. We'll catch you all in another one. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count Honey, come on now and take my hand Right.